let's learn about common ion effect in this video in our earlier video we had learnt about the solubility product now let's see what is common ion effect it's an adding of a common ion one which is already present in the saturated solution so adding a common ion to such a solution will result in the precipitation of a sparingly soluble ionic compound from its saturated solution now let's understand what do we mean by this sentence suppose we have a saturated solution of silver chloride we know silver chloride is a sparingly soluble ionic compound and if it precipitates it gives white color precipitates now to a saturated solution of silver chloride if we are adding a solution of sodium chloride then silver chloride will result in the precipitation that is if from the saturated solution silver chloride will precipitate out as a white color precipitates now this is because adding an ionic compound nacl now nacl has a common ion of chloride ion with silver chloride now when we are adding an ionic compound solution nacl to a solution of silver chloride it increases the concentration of cl minus now cl minus ion as it is already present in the solution is called as a common ion so adding nacl will increase the concentration of cl minus resulting in the precipitation of silver chloride now let's see that what happens when we have taken a saturated solution of silver chloride and we are adding nacl solution to it the nacl solution will disperse into the ions in the water in the solution of silver chloride now this extra cl minus ions means that the solubility product is exceeded that is to reduce the value of the product which was found earlier we need to remove out the ions that is the value of ksp has to be reduced now this is done by precipitating out some amount of silver chloride now that is the reason that by adding nacl solution to it some silver chloride will settle down and this can be seen as white precipitates in the solution now let's understand this by some calculation silver chloride dissociates in water with the help of this equation can be seen now if we write the expression for ksp at 25 degrees celsius it gives us the equation of product of the silver ion and chloride ion and the value of ksp for silver chloride is 1.2 into 10 power minus 10 mole square dm power minus 6 but if the value of solubility product exceeds these value then the precipitation will occur that is if we increase the concentration of any one ion out of these two ion then the product will exceed the given value of ksp which will result in the precipitation of this salt so if the value exceeds by adding either of the two soluble ions two soluble ions means silver ion or chloride ion the sodium chloride solution is added to exceed this concentration so here our common ion is chloride ion so if common sodium chloride solution is added the concentration of silver ion will increase which will result in precipitation likewise addition of silver nitrate solution to the same silver chloride solution would also produce same effect that is the concentration of silver ions increases by adding silver nitrate and so it would again increase the concentration of silver ion exceeding the value of ksp of silver chloride which again results in the precipitation so this shows that adding any one common ion to a saturated solution of any sparingly soluble ionic compound will result in the precipitation of that salt now let's understand this simple common ion effect with the help of some calculation the ksp value of silver chloride is 1.2 into 10 power minus 10 
Now finding the square root of this value will give us the concentration of either Ag plus ions or silver that is chloride ions. Now the value of this is 1.09 into 10 power minus 5 moles per dm cube. Now suppose if we add NaCl solution with the concentration of 1.0 into 10 power minus 5 moles per dm cube to the saturated solution of silver chloride that shows that the concentration of chloride ion will increase by this value. So the concentration of chloride ion will be addition of these two values and which will result in the value as 2.09 into 10 power minus 5 moles per dm cube. Now if we substitute this value in the product of both these ions that is the concentration of silver ion multiply by the concentration of chloride ion will result in as the concentration of silver ion is the same as 1.09 into 10 power minus 5. Multiplying this with the concentration of chloride ion which has increased now to this value will give us a product as 2.28 into 10 power minus 5 mole square dm power minus 9. Now as we can see that the KSP value of silver chloride is just 1.2 into 10 power minus 10. Sorry, this is 1 into 10 power minus 10. So now this value has exceeded the value of KSP of silver chloride. Now to reduce this value, silver chloride precipitates out and this value reduces again to the KSP value. This is the reason that adding any ion which is common to such sparingly soluble compounds will increase its product of the concentration that is the KSP value will increase and that is the reason that some of the compound, some of the solid compound will precipitate out. Now let's understand this common ion effect with the help of some example calculations. Here is our question. If equal volumes of silver nitrate and sodium chloride with the given concentration are mixed, will silver chloride precipitate out? The KSP value for silver chloride is given here. That is in AgNO3, that is silver nitrate, the concentration of ions, silver ions is 2 into 10 power minus 5. Now in NaCl, the concentration of chloride ion is again 2 into 10 power minus 5 moles per dm cube and if equal volumes of these solutions are mixed, then the concentration gets half. The reason is that the volume has doubled. So the concentration reduces to half and that's the reason that now the new concentration of silver ion is half of this value. So it gets reduced to 1 into 10 power minus 5 for both silver ion and chloride ion. Now if we find the product of these concentrations, substitute these values for the concentration of silver ion and chloride ion which gives us the value of 1 into 10 power minus 10 mole square dm power minus 6. Now if we compare these value with the KSP value of silver chloride, then we can note that these value, that is 1 into 10 power minus 10 is lower than the KSP value. This is the reason that the no precipitation happens. Let's understand this with the another example. Here again equal volumes of calcium chloride of the given concentration and the sulfuric acid of the concentration given are mixed together. Will calcium sulfate precipitate out? The KSP value for calcium sulfate is 2 into 10 power minus 5. 
Now, what should be the observation also? In calcium chloride, the concentration of calcium ion is 1 into 10 power minus 2 moles. That is the same concentration of calcium chloride. In sulfuric acid, the concentration of sulfate ion is also 1 into 10 power minus 2, which is same as the concentration of sulfuric acid in the question. Now, if we mix the equal volumes of these two solutions, then the volume doubles and so the concentration of each of the ion gets halved. So, the concentration of calcium ion is half of these given value. That is 5 into 10 power minus 3 and again 5 into 10 power minus 3 for sulfate ions. And multiplying these two values, that is the concentration of calcium ion and sulfate ion, we get 5 into 10 power minus 3 multiplied by 5 into 10 power minus 3 whose answer is 25 into 10 power minus 6. Now, if you compare these value with the KSP value, we can see that this value is greater than the KSP value of calcium sulfate. So, as the product of these two concentration is greater than the KSP value, it will result in the precipitation of calcium sulfate. In the question, it is also asked, what will be the observation? So, as calcium sulfate precipitates out, which is white in color, so observation will be white precipitation or white solid seal. So, in this video, we have learnt about the common ion effect, what results in the common ion effect of a saturated solution and some related examples for it.